Okay, so like I said before, there was several ways of doing the snare drum. Keeping those snare drum sounds, the three different ways that you've been through, is good because you need them for certain things. Like sometimes when you're creating humming sounds, humming sounds and beatbox at the same time, sometimes you can't do the inward snare without disrupting the humming sound, which you don't want to do. You don't want to disrupt the humming sound. You want to keep that flow. So the best way to do it is by using maybe the, P the PFT snare sound or the sound. There's, there's different ways you can do it because sometimes you, you can't hum and at the same time. Let's look at a few ways that you can do that. And not only that as well, is doing the outward snare, you can also speak sometimes at the same time, the outward snare, which is uh, very difficult to do when you're breathing in. You have to fit through the gaps of the words to be able to do that. So let's look at some um, basics of humming. So humming, when you're beatboxing, you want to do it through your nose. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's a, when you're doing it for your mouth, you know you're doing it for your mouth. Mm, you want to make it come, make it come through your nose. You can do that. Mm. You can do it, but you probably never notice that you do it through your nose, or you can do it through your nose. So you need to use both your nose and your mouth for certain things like creating music where you're humming and beatboxing at the same time. So let's look at a basic beat. So we're looking at so the doom doom. As you can hear that, I'm doing the snare instead of the snare because in this one, the humming is on the first bit of the beat. The easiest way to do that is make the sound at the same time. So, mm mm, mm mm, mm mm, mm mm, So, you hear that? It's just through the nose. Mm mm, mm mm. So now do, just do that first bit mm -mm, by putting the, a bass drum on it. So when you do the bass drum, you're doing the sound for your nose at the same time. So, so you go, copy the beat. And put them together. And then you can add in the extra beats that you learned before, the hi-hats and the snare. But this one you can do the inward snare because we're not humming on the on the snare. So you go You see the humming is on the beginning bit. The humming is on the bass drum, which is easy to do when you're breathing out. You can, it's very hard to do. Mm -mm. It's, it's really hard. We're gonna look at, that's the basic beat that you can learn, which is a very basic, um, it's a very basic rap beat. It's, you know, it's a very basic steady beat that you can have, um, that you can create even for people to freestyle over or whatever. It's a very in, instant, creative, easy beat to learn. It's going boom, boom, boom. And once you get that down, you can mess about with it. You can do all sorts of it. You can play about with the humming. Quite simple once you get the head around it. Look, we'll have a look at another one that's um, it's quite an easy one to do and it doesn't involve the inward snare, it involves the outward snare, which we're gonna look at the <laughs> that sound, the PFT sound. So let's look at Michael Jackson's um, Billie Jean song. So everyone knows the song, if you haven't heard it, just quick it quick YouTube, but everyone's heard it. You know, the bass line of it is very popular and world famous bass line. Um, so we're gonna create that with your humming. We do the sounds with the bass drum, the hi hat, and the outward snare. 
And same time as before, when you're doing a humming over the beat of the bass drum, you're doing the humming over the bass drum, the hi-hat and the snare at the same time, which is easy because you're breathing out at the same time. So you can do you can change sometimes you can change the hi hat to like I do it with the double T's. You can also change it to so you're making a, a really really delicate um, TT sound. That's releasing your tongue at the top. That helps when you're doing things like this um, humming so that you can keep it going and also hear a bit of this hi-hat. Obviously when you do it through a mic, it's even better because you can have your mic all set up with a bass up, with a treble up, so that it picks up all these little tiny little sounds that you're trying to do and um, elaborates them a bit more. Let's get the beat first, so. Get that beat in your head, and then we'll add the humming. So, so you beatboxing and humming together. And it's quite, um, once you get the hang of it, it's, again, it's one of those easy things. It's, um, it's very simple to do. And you'll work out that you can only do it with certain songs because sometimes it becomes difficult when you're trying to do the sounds at the same time as well as keeping the humming sounds, especially inward snares. That's a, that's a difficult one because you can't make a hum sound at the same time. It's difficult. 